Hi, everyone. Elizabeth, True to It Connections. So glad you're here. You know how much it means to us. Hit the subscribe. We have a lot coming up for Lionsgate. So check that community tab and just know how grateful we are to have, have our team here to offer all of this to you. It's really a lot of fun and I just can't wait for you guys to check us out. So listen, Mercury went retrograde yesterday. There was a long shadow period leading up to this. And it does this dance back and forth. You're going to feel it. And it lasts until September 7th with a shadow after that. Not only that, but, and more importantly, it squares Uranus three times. So we're going to do a quick pull for each sign regarding this energy, how you deal with it, and what messages we can use in our lives that are helpful and what doesn't make sense, leave, you know, just leave it. But do check your sun, your rising, um, Mercury, how you communicate. It. This is going to be important. And understand the first Mercury Uranus square was July 21st. We had a lot happen, and we had that software upload malfunction junction. Good example of technology big time that affected us globally and personally. Now, the second pass, because Mercury is going retrograde and back and forth, very complicated a lot of astrology that I know Don will be explaining and, you know, stay tuned. But August 18th is the second Mercury Uranus square. So things that you thought were going on change. It differs for each sign. And then it happens again September 7th. So there is a lot of things you think are going to happen that don't things that need to be renegotiated and all that. So I am going to dive into brief but important messages for each sign using Tarot. And let's see what we get. Stick with me. I'll include timestamps in the description. I'll include ways to reach me and the other team. And also uh, see my link tree for my other YouTube channel, TikTok, and all that good stuff. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. On to Aries. Okay, here we go. Hi, Aries. Thank you for being here. So we're going to get started and see. I want you to know this Mercury-Uranus uh, square has a lot to do with matters of the heart, your heart, your relationships. You might really be thinking about them and be like, yeah, this is cool. And then we have the second square and you're like, I don't know, you know, some truths are revealed and you've got to think about it. And then the third one is where you really come to terms with everything. And I think things move forward, but let's see what the cards say. All right. Strength. Love it. This is White Sage Tarot. I hope you can see. The number eight, we're in an eighth year. You guys know I love my numerology. Leo time as well. So this is about communicating. There's going to be problems with communication. So Aries, it's really important to just keep expressing how you feel. Keep getting to know this person. When things come up that feel disagreeable, take a pause because I think you guys will eventually work through it page of swords. So this is an indication. Just like I said, pay attention to the messages coming in. Put your sword away. Don't fight about it. Don't be defensive. Come to it with an open heart and open to intuition. And just understand there's going to be a lot of push and pull. And one more for you, Aries. Ten of wands. I want you to know that this is also intuitively the end of a struggle and 
this person is coming in to bring you support, to bring you a feeling of infinite possibilities, even though there's some burdens here that don't belong to you that you intuitively want to maybe put it into before you move on with this love. On the bottom of the deck is the magician card. So you go from putting a lot of burden and struggle behind you, moving on with strength like you can, Aries, and manifesting what you want. It's just taking some time to get to know the person, some of the ups and downs of getting to know someone. And I think as you move through September and to fall, things really unfold for you in a positive way. Thank you, Aries. Now we're going to move on to Taurus. And I'll switch decks for you, Taurus. I want you guys to know that with these Mercury squares, that you really probably have come to a reasonable outcome about something, or so you thought. And as we go back and forth, Taurus, through this, I want you to understand that you will probably feel frustrated in the middle of it. Like, you know, I, I did everything I could for you. What's the hold up now? Um, you really thought things were back to normal and then ta ta -da, they're not. Um, but what you do bring to this is this adorable seal of peace and compassion. Queen of cups, queen of shells. So you still take the lead in this. You seem to temper any frustration or anger and you really communicate I think and bring ultimately into September ways to agree you also have the strength card as Aries did uh, Leo time is important understanding you have the strength to get through all these ups and downs that the astrology is throwing at us right now. Um, and I want you to know that I see the symbolic imagery of the, um, of the Nautilus shell of the sixes and nines. And I want you to understand what's right for you and what's intuitively right for the big picture um seven of shells because i think this causes you a lot of confusion this is seven of cups but with the strength and the leadership and that balance that you really bring to it you you um you calm the waters of confusion um and that is for taurus and then on the bottom of the deck too, I want you to understand comes in a new perspective, a new perspective most definitely that brings you clarity on how to handle all the back and forth that's gone on. And not only did you have the queen of shells, queen of cups, but you have the king of cups also. So if this is about bringing balance to a relationship, you will. If it's about deciding which person, um, you will. It takes a lot of strength, courage, and endurance, I think, to get through this back and forth energy for you, Taurus. Okay, you guys, thank you. Moving on to Gemini, we're going quickly. And I'm going back to White Sage Tarot. Now, Gemini, as I did my research, I did my research. You guys are just so close you're like okay the deal's done and then it get changed this could be negotiation contracts maybe relationships but there's a lot of second thoughts that go on as mercury and uranus do this dance from august 5th to the 18th through the 7th and some shadow periods between there so I want you to continue to do your research. 
Um, you're very good at communicating. This is your ruling planet. So don't get confused and be patient and compassionate because in the end, you likely will get what you want. Ace of Cups, we could be talking about new love. And when you get this, it's important that you have a lot of gratitude. That's important for everybody listening to remember. So um, could be an Aries coming in. I want you to know, too, as you're having second thoughts and deals fall through, be the leader, stay strong, um, stay grateful. But what I want to say is keep your boundaries and, and just understand that you can't control everything. But through your gift of researching and getting to the bottom of things, you will feel like you have more control. You definitely will have more say. And you also have the world card, 21, which to me is three. And this is about you planting the seed and starting this thing. Now, it's going to take time and you're going to think, oh, it's done right at the beginning. But it won't be. But don't give up. Perseverance perseverance is important. On the bottom of the deck, um, five of pentacles, where you feel like, okay, crap, it didn't happen. And this is really pinging on your intuition. Nine of wands, like, oh, end of this cycle. But what I want you to understand is coming in too is the page of pentacles. This requires you to continue to keep your heart open, to continue to be the leader, to continue to be that oak tree that people lean on, even when things fall through, even when relationships feel like they're not meant to be. This person is loyal and loving and truthful, just slower, slower than you might expect. Also on the bottom of the deck, Gemini lover's card and to a cup. So there's a lot of matters of the heart coming to play. And whether that's friendship, love, or work, you know, I really think it's love in your case, but just bring love and compassion and gratitude to everything. And um, it's a win-win, but there is uh, a, a lot of second thoughts going on, Gemini. Okay, cool. Now we are going to move on to Taurus. Hi, Taurus. Not, what am I saying? Not Taurus. Damn it, cricket. Cancer. I'm a cancer. And I'm going back to uh, Spirit Song Tarot. And from my astrology research, I understand and I get that. A lot of Cancerians are having... Um, the need to want to go on trips, to buy stuff, to fix up the home. Maybe we wanted to do July shopping, Christmas in July shopping. Maybe you're dreaming of renovating or you want a new house. And maybe you do some of these things and then unexpected bills come up because we're in Mercury retrograde and everything breaks. And then all of a sudden you can't afford the things you thought you could makes us crabby. So there's a lot of going back and forth and understanding what we can afford and budget and all of that. Seven of pentacles, exactly <laughs> having a lot really, you know, it's like saying a prayer of like, please, can I have all these things? And you know, source doesn't want us to do that. But this is a reminder that we have options. And when you want to manifest something, I want you guys to remember all, all of you listening, you manifest it, but you have to put the steps into action. Just like I said, I study a lot and I've done a lot to get to this point um, for, from what I used to do. So have all of us here. And we put a plan 
independently, we put our plans into action and then God took over divine source and brought us together. So cancer, ace of shells for you. You have a lot of options. I want you to put the action in and it starts new beginnings. Ace of cups represented here by this beautiful turtle. However, you know, it can be love, but it's something that makes your heart, your emotions sing a little bit more and feel less confused. Also, Cancer, Ten of Wands. I believe you too are putting down burdens that do not belong to you. Feeling overburdened. Um, maybe too many options. So make a decision. But be willing to renegotiate that decision. And I'm going to pull one more for Cancer. Hmm. Has to do with love. You may have people coming back in that uh, you didn't expect. Love and Ace of Cups. So, and Ten of Wands. So there's a lot of confusion about this and endings and beginnings. And it's going to take some some uh, starts and stops for sure. There's decisions to make. So cancer, if you can do it, what's on the bottom of the deck? Nine of crystals, security and abundance. If you want it, if that's what you're manifesting with this love and these uh, this energy of Lionsgate and just um, the act of manifesting, start weaving your web. And I mean, not in a positive way where you have security and abundance for yourself and that none of this confusion or back and forth knocking down your web, you just build it again. And I really love that. All right, cancer. Um, that surprises me because uh, it was about love. That's really cool. Now on to Leo. And I'm going to go back to White Sage Tarot for Leo. Leo, I think this energy with Mercury and Uranus from everything I've looked at astrologically, you're feeling pretty good. I think things are going well at work, things like that. But you're just, you're telling people, yeah, it's good. I'm fine. I'm fine. When you're not, and normally you're really good at communicating about this, but you haven't been. Nine of Wands, you're reaching your limit with this. Intuitively, you know you deserve more. You're putting in the work. You're putting in the effort, the passion, the determination. But it feels like the end of this cycle. You want more, and you might be getting impatient about it. And that's part of this energy. Mercury might have you lose your temper a little bit. You want to control it. You feel like if they'll just listen listen to my side of things. Why do I have to sit around and wait? I want to control this. Um, I think it's a good position for you, Leo, to stay in control of your emotions and in your beliefs and in your self-value. That's really important. But I want you to remain patient and let these people, like, don't, Force yourself on them. Let them see it. Don't miss an opportunity to speak up, but let them see it. And that is for you, Leo. This is your card. This is the sun card. 19, 10, endings and beginnings. Let's go. So major arcana cards where you really need to be heard. And um, it's about communication and when the time is right. And that'll probably be early September. Seven of Cups. So you have a lot of options and it's confusing you. Uh, I want you to trust your intuition and your heart that you will um, probably not entertain other options because this will work out what you want in this deal, in your job, in your relationships, whatever. Don't over control it because... In your heart, I know these decisions will come to the forefront. And um, 
in your gut, I think you feel like there's some competition probably at work with this a little bit. Um, and that you may be considering, do I take another opportunity? Do I go the loner's route? But again, I want you to realize that balance does come in for you, Leo, and the negotiations end up going your way and you feel more valued for sure. The decisions get made and it brings a lot of um, stillness and peace to you, Leo. So I think that's really awesome. Okay, thank you. I'm going to move quickly on to Virgo now. And Virgo, oh, I think from the astrology I've looked at and listened to, that you feel like you're finally free of something. And then with this Mercury Uranus stuff, you get dragged back in. Page of Wands. This person, these people, they're like, oh, no, don't go away. I really do want you. I do want you to be part of this deal or this relationship. I really, 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 really do. I want to put action to it. And I want to discover more about you and about this deal. And, you know, Virgo, you're like, all right, all right. I'll listen. I'll listen. What comes up? What comes up? The moon, 18, nine, you're like, oh, I've been here before. This is a pattern. This is a cycle. Let me do a deep dive. Scorpio energy, you know, where, and Cancerian, if you want to look at it that way, but technically, or Pisces, it doesn't matter right now. You guys, Virgo, this is your perception. And I want you to be attuned to that because you could get stuck repeating old patterns, especially with families or relationships that you thought you were free from. And I think that you've been trying to bring messages of stability, endurance. I'm here for the long haul, but people aren't listening. And that has you doing a deep dive also. And there's challenge from this. You know, it's the where you put up your boundaries because you see what's happening and you, you're done with the drama. You're done with the chaos. And five of wands... It is about change and challenge, but it is about soul contracts too and releasing yourself from some of that past life childhood type of contracts might really help you. Let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Pages, shells. I believe that releasing yourself from this, um, you know, getting dragged back into things that do you need to let go of? And this is the page of cups. I want you to look for support that comes in that reinforces your understanding of your boundaries and where you need to be and why there needs to be some uh, ties, ties cut. Okay, Virgo. I hope that helps. I believe that you really try in this situation, but the patterns and the behaviors don't change. So, uh, yeah, five of five of uh, pentacles through flew out as I was putting this away, uh, Virgo. Where, and that's the ladybug. It's good luck that there is new possibilities, just like that page of cups I just showed you. So definitely, um, just. Watch the red flags. Don't get dragged into situations that you've already released yourself from. Okay, Libra. I think, from what I can tell, I've got a Libra living in my house, that you guys really want to break. You want to go have some fun. But it's still work, 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 work. 
Um, I want you to keep an eye out for third parties. That's what I'm saying. It was coming right out. And you've got to communicate about it. There's going to be somebody kind of behind the scenes, sort of a player that uh, comes in. Maybe you're making deals, but it's it's rocking the boat. It's um, It's rocking the boat. Usually that's things to celebrate, but I'm telling you right now, it's rocking the boat with this Mercury Uranus uh, square. And I got tongue tied because judgment came out. And this is a hard card to see because it's a light bulb there. I hope you guys can see it. This is where I want you to understand that karma is at play here and nobody's better at being a peacekeeper than you are and this is going to be frustrating but the way you handle things is beautiful and the outcome will be reflective of that all right and what i'm i'm still talking about later in september there is someone who's this is the devil energy 15 uh to me that becomes six uh where you're gonna have choices about this person this person either can really transform things and bring a lot to the table or not this person is being truthful or not karma is at play here i know libra it's going to be unexpected to you I know you think I'm just got to put the work in and everything's going to go smoothly, but there's something um, karmically happening in this cycle for you guys. So let's pull one more and see how you're going to handle it. Seven of pentacles. All right. So you're going to have choices, but you're still, you're, you're still going to put the work in. You're divinely guided by this. This is trusting your heart chakra. This is continuing to garden because when you garden, there is hope. And you also, this represents to me you plus six of pentacles, which is balance. You bringing balance to the situation. Because somebody does come in, Libra, with some... Uh, That bit of destruction that you have to fix and regroup the team. You can do it. All right. Thank you, Libra. I am moving on to Scorpio and we will go with Spirit Song Tarot again. And Scorpio, just like you're so good at these Mercury Uranus uh, squares will have you uncover some information and you're going to sit on it a little bit and be like, I mean, it's either something you did or someone else did. And you're like, do I tell, what do I say? Maybe I can fix this. Ultimately, I think you're going to have to communicate about it. And, uh, and yeah, that's what, you yeah, know, one of those sticky situations. So here we go. The magician. This is the manifester. This is where you are really creating a project. Things are great, but underneath it, there's some secrets, mistakes. There's something that's going to surface. But I don't want you to for lose your hope. Uh, above this is the infinity symbol. It's a reminder to stay grateful, stay creative, keep your willpower, and trust in infinite possibilities for you. Just because something gets hidden or a mistake is made, uh, we don't have to bury it under the rug. Six of Pentacles comes in. See, um, I think being grateful for the opportunity that you have and being truthful and synergetic with group with the person that you're dealing with and being honest brings balance and actually 
a lot of fun to this project, this relationship, this idea, Scorpio. Um, you just, you know, you dug up something that just has to be fixed. And it's definitely possible. Let me keep going. Whoa, Queen of Shells and Transformation flew out. So, transformation. You balance things out, things transform, and there's a new beginning. I want you to know that it brings about oh, so much freedom. It's like you can really breathe. And I want you to know, too, as I spoke earlier in this video, that when we manifest like a magician, um, you can't just use your willpower to make these things happen. You have to put in action. You have to make the transition through these awkward squares and times of as we move into fall. But with you, Scorpio, bring in peace and compassion, the truth and understanding to this, and it all gets fixed on the bottom of the deck is the 10 of pentacles, this alligator, somebody who can navigate the waters and the land and the back and forth. This is endings and beginnings. It's all about the transformation, Scorpio, this, this uncovering ultimately causes some bumps, but works out great. And it is about attainment. So there really is beautiful possibility with this project love relationship that you're working on. Don't focus heavily, heavily, heavily on a mistake, a misstep, uh, something that you uncover. Find a way to rectify that. And I know love, truth, and compassion will help that. Okay, now we're moving on to Sagittarius. And Sag, I believe these Mercury-Uranus squares are causing you to be in predicaments constantly and you keep being positive about it, but you're going to blow a gasket and, every, and and then it works out. I really believe that. Um, it boils down, I believe, from what I understand and have researched that it may come down to somebody just not keeping their promise and not keeping their boundaries where you have. And so you become okay with it. You get your positivity back and you move forward. Um, there could be some unexpected changes in a deal, um, things you really had your heart set on, but ultimately with negotiation and trust in your intuition and your heart, that the best outcome does uh, show itself as we get through these squares. So right off the bat, four of pentacles. This is where I think, you know, there were some financial issues discussed, Sag. Um, this might even have to do with family, home, inheritance, all that kind of stuff. It hits deep in your roots. I want you to understand too, Sag, that it's a situation you can't really control. You can try to balance it out, but it's just going to unfold. And I know that you will be okay with that. And you do get the world card, so things are changing. And you keeping your boundaries, staying strong, being the oak, being the seed starter, being um, really the empress through this, carrying through arguments and disappointments, people not keeping their promises, it's going to hurt, but you're going to just carry yourself with continued grace and cycle through this. Beep. Ten of Pentacles. I think you feel like, okay, 
all of my chakras are really balanced after I got through this. They, these people, this situation that has haunted me for some time, I tried, I tried. I feel balanced. I'm ready to move on in a really good way. And I'm, I'm planting the seeds. I am the oak tree. That's what you, that's what I hear you saying, Sag. Last. So again, five of cups, somebody that you have sold contracts with that you really expected in your gut to do the right thing doesn't, it doesn't. I want you to be okay with that. I want you to find your positivity because I do think you're really up in your mind about this, Sag. So if anybody can do it, you can do it on the bottom of the deck. There we go. See, ace of cups. Your intuition kicks in to protect your heart, to know that you are capable of loving and really um, nurturing and being the person that you know you are, not who they say you are. And yeah, I don't know where that came from, but I feel like Mercury sometimes people with a sharp tongue can uh, use this energy, but in your heart and in your mind, you're, you're offering nurturing and you're bringing love to yourself mostly through this. And through that, you get back your smile, your laughter, your positivity. Okay. Now I am moving on to Capricorn with Spirit Song Terrell. We're going back and forth. Capricorn, just similar to a lot of the energy, you were ready to sign a contract, and I think it gets pulled right out from under you. Really sucks. But uh, from what I understand, looking at a lot of the astrology experts, and I know Capricorns, you, you're not really going to take no for an answer. You're not pushy, though, but you're not going away. Um, and ultimately, I think you will take the leadership role, maintain your boundaries, and negotiate a good outcome. I do believe, though, you will go back and forth on should should I take this this deal, this new beginning, this new love, this Ace of Cups? Should I? Should I? Should I? That's what I was expecting when this whole Mercury square Uranus thing started. Um, but what happens is the fox comes in. This knight of feathers. So he comes in fast. He, she. Uh, I think this is where the deal flips. And it gets really up in your mind. Who wouldn't have, um, who wouldn't spin when you think things are a done deal or it's a new start? And this is great. And then, boop, where did that, where that, where'd this person come from? Right. Um, just stay focused. Okay. Stay focused. It does bring challenges and changes and chaos. But that ladybug is lucky. And what it brings is a new perspective. You see the this situation for what it is. And then you put in a plan how to calmly get through this energy and get the outcome that works for you. Maybe it's not what you expected. Maybe not exactly what you can control or want. But it, it does come out for you uh, having new possibilities. And it's definitely about being persistent. I mean, people might think you're going away, but you're not, and you're strategizing. Sticks of feathers, I absolutely love hard. I want you to know this really uh, divinely blessed six of swords. It's a it is a transition where again, you thought this was such a done deal 
but in came this change, this transition, but it's divinely guided and it gives you insight. If you can see above the dragonfly's head is a bright yellow star. It's almost like a Merkaba, which I'll be talking about on Lionsgate. But um, you really get a lot of insight. And from that seven of wands, I'm not sure you can see the beautiful artwork on this, but this is uh, where this determination and stamina divinely guides you to the right situation and to the right people. It's really not exactly what you thought, but the three of pentacles is here. This is about the support coming in. Um, it's definitely a change. It's it's a big difference from where we started, what you thought you were going to get. But it really is um, a collaboration you didn't count on that moves you forward in a very productive way. So that's amazing. I hope that helps. I hope that helps Capricorn. Now I'm going to take a look at Aquarius using white sage trail. Hi guys. Okay. Aquarius, uh, you guys are going to be playing mm, peacemaker. You're going to be the person in the middle. You're going to get really exhausted about this and, you know, decide what your role is if it's your role and I think you're going to walk away and these people are going to figure it out and it all turns out to be quite a blessing. So let's see what the cards have to say. Devil energy, Capricorn energy. Hmm. Little somebody devious coming in, you know, somebody who needs to change some patterns and behaviors. And this may be what you're, trying to explain and negotiate between people seven of wands because there's probably some sort of breakup going on that uh, this person feels that they really need to go it alone and you're trying to help resolve this and there's so much that needs to be fixed eight of wands yep yeah. Now, I mean, this is good. They they can continue to put the work in, the passion in, and hopefully strike a balance. But this eight is the balance that they need to strike. There's really not room for you in here. And I can't help but see the infinity symbol as well. And uh, for these people that you're dealing with, Aquarius, to understand if they can move this energy, this uh, toxicity using the infinity wave, the Merkaba symbol, sacred geometry, intuition, trust their gut that they can move forward. There's not a lot of room for you in the middle, though. And I do think if you just step aside, which will help you, Aquarius, that the Six of Cups brings in more balance, more give and take, better emotion. And again, you're out of the middle of it. And I think they're very grateful that you were a peacemaker, but um, they're doing okay. Eight of Pentacles too. So things really start to balance out. No need to worry about being in the middle. And I think we all love you for being a peacemaker, but you don't have to. You don't have to. You're going to get dragged through it, though. So I hope this is a, a little tip before it happens. So you just kind of stay neutral and don't say too much during these Mercury-Uranus squares. All right. And last, Pisces. Here we go. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, for you, it's important. Um, let me tell you, six of pentacles, synergy and gratitude. Yep, 
I want you to find balance and gratitude. I want you to understand there is likely relationships, either love, work, family, all of the above, people coming and going, messing with you. And ultimately, you're going to have to decide if this should be dissolved once and for once and for good or once and for all or re-embra- re-embrace the situation four of wands that's bringing in some love that's the 1111 kind of nod and it is a little bit about, okay, this person brings me comfort, some sense of security. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing. And then I don't know though, because it's Mercury, Uranus squares, right? And Mercury doing this dance. So what happens next? Passion and creativity. I think you put yourself first, queen of wands. You're, you're feeling like, okay, you know what? I'm not really sure how I feel about this. So I'm going to do me. I'm going to continue on with the things I'm creative and passionate about. And I'm going to show people how to lead the way. I'm going to show this, this work environment, this relationship, what I really want and my ability to get it. Let's see what they, what they think about it though. And and really, how many second chances do you want to give? I think is what is here. You're like, okay, come back, second chance. I'm so grateful. It feels very synergetic and very comfortable and secure. And I can really lead us. But what happens? Ten of crystals, ten of pentacles. I, do you know, you're having to really navigate. Endings and beginnings constantly, water and earth, and oh my gosh, and and being a little defensive. Um, you know this is stability that you can attain, but do you really want to put up with it? Page of Wands, discovery and enthusiasm. So I just really think that messages will come in that resonate, that feel really true, that are new discoveries that will help you decide, do I really want this situation or not? And you will decide through this discovery and enthusiasm. Oh my gosh. And it does bring you on the bottom of the deck, two of wands, a kangaroo. It brings you balance, adaptability, So if you do decide to end this job, you're bouncing on to the next. If you decide to end a relationship or, you know, you're really moving through as the queen of wands in control, making decisions. Um, You might spin a little bit, but I think that you will ultimately adapt very well because you'll be within your boundaries and on the bottom of the deck is the king of shells, the king of cups, where, yeah, queen of wands and the king of shells, harmony and integrity. I think it's a balance, the 11 within you, the twin flame that within you that you move forward with. Most importantly, the rest are like, I'll deal with it. I'll adapt. But I'm really, really, really doing what's right for me. And do not procrastinate on this, Pisces. Just no matter what gets thrown at you and who you have to throw out and stuff, just keep going. Keep moving forward with your uh, creativity and things that really liberate you and make you happy. And the rest will fall into place. All right. So thank you guys for sticking through this quick rundown of all zodiac signs. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. We will have videos rolling out information all day 
and we will be live at 8 p.m. And we will be live again Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here at The Spiritual View. Thank you, guys. I love you. I'll see you really soon.